Alright guys, spawning in the bottom Playing as the Yellow Dark Elves, this is Penny And his hero is the Guardian of Noor On the top side we have got our White Dwarf player This is Filling the Juan And the hero is gonna be... The High Hierophant Who would have thunk? Going through the bushes Gonna be a crossbow build. Got him nor should be going for just soul explosion and uh Oh actually did not pick up blocking momentum. Very interesting. He could get quite a bit of health back from that thing. It's a hundred health difference or so. Looking at triple woodcut. Oh, actually, very defensively placed woodcutters. One obviously going for double food and triple stone. As always. Taking most of the damage on the mole, as he should. You know, it would actually be pretty cool if the mole can find the Guardian of Noor and keep bullying him like it's a specter. I guess not gonna be the case. The spider actually got a kill on the workers? That is insane. And that Stonecutter Bell is wrong. Um, should be seeing uh, an axe wielder coming back to... Okay, no new one being made, but... Well, hopefully fulfilling the one, he's not gonna forget to unring that bell, because those workers are just gonna sit in the building and not do anything. Uh, the Mole Rider, if it manages to do the damage to the Spider, will slow it down by 50%, but it doesn't seem to be able to do the attack fast enough against the unit that's running away. Oh, that's so annoying. You gotta click ahead of the thing. The attack speed is just really slow. Yeah, 0.33 attacks per second, and it just escapes. Some base deals coming down. This should be a really nice set of experience stolen overall. God of Nord now does have the the heal from the hits. Or from the blocks rather. Uh, could take these on to be honest. And make sure that that ensign gets upgraded. But I guess he's happy with the experience that he's stolen. And later on he can smack down some of these stone posts anyway. If Penny gets the Medusa kills normally, then he's gonna be level 5. And he saved the spider thus far. Uh, didn't manage to save the specter, unfortunately, so... That would be nice to just keep with your army, I think, in this case. Full crossbow mode. Double mana, actually, and uh, double brute force. One more axe coming in for one. He's got three right now, so that should be enough to start fighting the Medusas, especially if he manages to pull it like just to. Whereas for the Dark Elves, we don't have enough spiders actually to to fight the Medusas just yet. So you'll have to come over here and steal some experience by uh, doing some attacks. I'm actually trying to go after the Axe Wielders. Risky business! Consumes a potion. Penny is gonna be... Uh, going really low here, but he's actually choosing to run away, which is a really good choice. 
And the Medusa is helping out with the DPS. Oh my god, he's gonna go down! Oh, the Bone Breaker! Knocking him dead. Puts him in the middle of a tree. And that's gonna put Juan at immediate four levels. Uh, should be able to get five levels by the time he kills all the Medusa. Wow. Still two more here. Okay, Guardian of his back. We'll need a teleport to get to the Medusas faster. Uh, we'll pick up a shield, I think. Armor! Yeah, that's also good. Understood. Let's go Hall of Pain. Last sector's upgrading now. Still enough units. Four spiders, two infiltrators. Yeah, you can take the Medusa, but... Juan's gonna have something to say about that. He's really good on this map, by the way. Uh, but dwarves are obviously really good on this map overall. He's going tier two. Especially if they can just split the map half-half. That is always great news. We've got one stone hall. And these are definitely going to bully the Medusas a little bit here. Dark are having trouble just taking out one at a time. Uh, dwarves will arrive by the time this is dead, and then over the last two they'll have to fight. One is closer to level 5 by a lot than Penny. Yeah, that should be easily one Medusa steal. Penny's just gonna have to take this, because... He needs that XP so bad. Oh, uh, it's, it's not level 5 just yet, because Penny did some damage to Juan's Medusas. Nothing too substantial. So, Juan should be able to catch up here after clearing out this army here that we have on the screen. Has to retreat now, because the axe are a little bit low. Penny has the base up, so not too bad, honestly. If he can keep upgrading that, that's fantastic. He's got a capital. Um, one Hall of Pain only, though. And no other buildings, really. Like, working on the iron mines is gonna take a while. So, what's next? Taking this base? I guess. Oh, he's upgrading this already. Fair enough. Might as well just take the time. Uh, dwarves need to grow a little bit. And there's really not a lot happening right now. Got the one char burner only, right? No, he's got a second one. That's good. Inventor is coming up. But none of the... Okay, finally a granite hall. Iron mines are coming. I don't know, that's not a lot of dwarves. Kinda like Penny's situation right now. 15 spiders against all that? Yeah, I'll take that. Well, it's only got 10 Axiolers. This is very, very easy to manage for Dark Elves. Especially if he buys any uh, fire orbs. Hasn't been the case thus far, but he could buy free right now. Right, Hall can't produce right now, not just yet. Uh, but soon should be able to make balloons. Yep, it's being queued up. That flag will certainly be stolen. That's a dark elf base. Penny will easily take that over. Does he have two iron, uh, two stone cutters or something? Or just the one, and he's not spending any stone. It's the ladder, unfortunately for Penny. 
Swimming in stone, but can't spend it. Would like to see something. <laughs> I mean, the stone could go into eco upgrades at least. More iron mines. Not a very big army for either player, to be honest. Uh, Penny splitting up his forces, so he's gonna try to go after this iron mine, I suppose. Could be a good move. Oh, he's getting the hunting cabin here. That is great, then. Oh. Okay, actually finishes it off. That's nice. See, I like this a lot. Penny is actually holding the Vision Towers. It's fantastic. Unfortunately for him, the Vision Tower actually doesn't provide vision if you put your unit in the wrong place. It's got a cone cut off. <laughs> oh, man. Juan's out for XP. Iron Mine is down. I don't think the spider should fight here. Yeah, it's just an accident. Okay. He's taking the rest to go after the other iron mines. Now that could be a huge pickoff. We're looking at some fire golems here. So tiny, tiny army. More spiders coming in. Triple Halls of Pain. So probably looking at some kind of... Oh! <laughs> All those workers getting hit, man. Well, all spiders dying. So yeah, I'm expecting to see sleepers later down the line. Mine might actually go down. There's no one repairing it, so if you unring this, you can actually repair, and the units will definitely hold down. Is he gonna get the worker kill? Oh, so close, so very close, but rings the bell. I thought they might be low enough, but they must have regenerated just enough uh, to make this work. Is the Hierophant going to get level 5 now? It's going to be really close. Still need like... 3 kills or something. Almost there! Obviously not going to get the Guardian of Nor kill. Yeah, in the end all the workers are back to work. Boys coming in. We got tower upgrades for the dwarves. And uh, still only three stone halls. Uh, spiders have been mostly handled. Gonna be all frontier posts in a moment. And uh, this is gonna be fortified. Who is really just moments away from level 5. Just needs one or two more kills. Oh my god. Oh my god. Penny's done it again. He's gone tier 3. What is this? No sleepers for you. <laughs> Straight into Striders. I guess so. Well, let's see how that does. We got level 5 on the Hierophant. Uh, Penny definitely wants to sit back and, you know, grow the army a bit more then. 
If he can get a few more Striders going, this could be a huge play. More infiltrators being made, so as to make space for iron to be gathered. Striders are expensive in iron. This is a border fortress now. Uh, we've actually got a lot of frontier posts. This is fortified. Uh, farm transition will have to start soon. That's going to be a border fortress. This should be upgraded for more iron mine slots. Oh, here come the dwarves. Penny has not seen it because he... I think he moved off the units. Uh, yeah, he, the spider is no longer on the vision tower. So these guys just ran right through. And Juan at level 5. He actually has not bought barrage. So this is actually really bad. He could have fired that off into the spiders or something. But I guess the strider scared him off. Oh my god, he actually left behind a ton of units. Striders are gonna make quick work of them. They should be getting their upgrades so that they can inflict bleeding. Uh, and that's almost done now. Spire of Souls. Working on some extra echo. And the refinery now has a worker. So here comes the eco upgrades. Juan well, spent all his resources, so that's pretty good. He didn't lose too many units, and no upgrades just yet, but he's got all the eco upgrades. Oh, big barrage going down on the spiders. Golems are kind of surrounding everything around the hero, but now the spiders are getting onto them, and they don't have resistances, so these striders are absolutely tearing them up. A strider in the front has got to be careful, though. Uh, doesn't want to get picked off for nothing. Guardian of Nord reaches level 5, and we should be seeing a, a soul shield. Shotgun to the face. Oh god, oh god, it's so low! Pops a potion just in time. Is that Berserkers? It's Berserkers! Souls are being taken. That's a lot of souls, actually. All of the front line is gone. The Striders are handling the Berserkers just fine. There's not enough of them. But the shotgun to the face is not something they enjoy. And these two Striders are gonna be toast. But for trading this for the entire Dwarven army, I think is more than okay. The Dark Elves, they gather faster from farms than the Dwarves do. By quite a bit. So anyway, we need to pause here because the game's too laggy. Is this how the players have to play? That's awful. We're so close to each other, so I don't know why. Anyways, Penny is just making more and more of these guys. So many striders coming in. Spiders to tank. Uh, food upgrade is about to be done. Let's compare populations. Penny has got 8 striders, 6 infiltrators, and a bunch of spiders, 2 harvesters, so they can also add some tanking power to this. One has barely got units, he's got 3 berserkers, 1 fire golem, and 4 sentries, and no resources, so this is a big issue. Especially food, he'll need food required for pretty much any unit, except like golems. And I guess balloons as well. Yeah, these guys don't... Actually, not, none of these units here cost any. Granite Hall getting taken down would be huge. The Dwarven army is growing, but the Dark Elf army is growing faster, and they're gonna, they're gonna have so many souls. Like, Penny's gotta do something with that, right? Th there's gotta be some Echo units coming in soon. Oh my god, the Fire Golem is absolutely gonna get smacked. Two shots from these Striders, and they're going down. 
Yeah, great focus fire, by the way, from our Dark Elves. The barrage is almost entirely dodged. Uh, I don't think the Guardian of Nor has his shield yet, right? It's gonna go down! Oh my god! That was a really nice takedown. And Penny also actually didn't have... Yeah, he doesn't have the shield. And he didn't have the, the soul shield either. So that's really unfortunate for him. Should have sacrificed a spider uh, for that resistance spike. There are no potions. There's a lot of money though. So you can definitely buy that shield. Penny can just retreat. Honestly, it's fine. Uh, he, he won't be having a lot of food bases left. There's one there. And two more with a little bit. He's got the wood though to go into the farm transition, but that's a lot of halls of pain. <laughs> All of, everything is at this base. If this border fortress gets taken down, that would be a huge issue. But it's going to be hard to get through all these striders, to be honest. Juan also needs to be recovering. Only six berserkers still. Oh my god, where is the eco? He doesn't have very highly upgraded bases. He's got border fortress here in the front. Everything else is just fortified. He's getting moon silver. Obviously, he needs that. And the Berserkers are now upgraded for magic damage. Uh, they also have their Battle Cry ability, War Cry, sorry, which gives haste and an empowered, makes them run fast. And do a lot of damage. Pretty good at that. Okay, Penny must have bought the shield now. Or he's going to. Penny. Let's go, Penny. Do the thing. Yeah, he's gonna just. I <laughs> can't get a. Sixth potion until he sells his shield. Well, let's see if he forgets to equip. No, nope, he's good. Wait, he did get the extra potion there. So, oh my god, he's getting emissaries? Okay, that's gonna be really hot. And these guys have to get out of here. There's just no chance. So many striders, guys. This is almost an entire army of striders. Two emissaries now. Uh, so some magic damage gets added. But they're pretty weak in terms of resistances. Uh, normally flying units have like zero resistances. But these guys have minus 25 pierce. So very fragile. But they can be summoning some skeletons on the floor. Uh, as long as they're corpses. Striders are so tanky. Like they don't look like much. But 1400 health each. It's uh, comparable to the Berserker, which is not ranged. And they actually don't do as much damage. Um, compared that, c considering that they're melee, right? So, oh my god. Huge flank. From every side. Surrounding this. And the hero goes down. Juan goes down. GG is called. And Penny takes game one.